Hi, hi, hello, and welcome to this uh, video. This time around, I am designing outfits for my characters that I'm planning on making a comic about. Um, this time around, I'm only doing two of them, but I have plenty of more that I want to design some outfits for. Um, I kind of didn't want to do the thing where they had the same outfit throughout the entire comic. So these are somewhat kind of outfit style choice studies, notes, character sheet type of things. Y yeah. So basically to start off, I want to start off with my one character that is kind of one of the main characters, Mike. Um, I would describe his style as a bit casual, having a bit of like skater influences, maybe even a little bit of surfer boy. However, um, he cannot skate. Like, um, eventually you see me drawing um, a sketch where he's trying to balance. You imagine he's standing like that on a skateboard. Now, I'm not great at skating, but I for sure know you're not supposed to stand like that on a skateboard. It's like basically two seconds before disaster. So yeah, that is Mike. Um, what else about him? He's kind of a little bit like golden retriever type of guy. He's kind of upbeat. But I feel like also he's not like a terrible person, but I feel like his ego is scratched quite easily. Not that it is huge, but, you know, he takes things personally quite quickly. What I also did is kind of establishing a color palette for all of my characters. That is also kind of one of the main reasons for the Pinterest boards, but also for like just style inspiration, common silhouettes and stuff like that. So for him, definitely a lot of this tealish blues, um, but also some browns and obviously like neutrals like gray black jeans stuff like that i feel like the teal kind of definitely suits his hair and then i also started adding some greens and light blues because to be honest even if you have a color palette going on in your closet i don't feel like it's all the exact same shade like even if it's fucking black like it's it's yeah so for um, realism's sake, uh, I didn't make all of the things the same hue. Also, I kind of felt like drawing him in a formal outfit, so that's why the prom outfit is there. I don't even know if I'll include a prom anywhere in the comic. I just felt like drawing him in it. I, I don't know. Surely not a bad thing, but I don't know how useful it will be, to be honest. Onto the second character in this video, um, it is her. Her name is Maeve. Um, well, full name is Mavis, but like everyone just calls her Maeve. She basically is inspired by a magpie, so that's why there's a lot of whites and blacks. And I wanted to add a little bit of pop of color, so that's why um, her eyes are bright orange. And maybe in some outfits, I plan on including little dashes of bright orange for her style i kind of wanted her to have like two little sub styles um one being a bit more like biker inspired and one being a little bit more casual and street style inspired um basically kind of depending on what she's about to do um it's like not a hard line, it's basically if you have a slider between these. Yeah. But generally, kind of angular, kind of sporty, kind of androgynous in style. Like, um, she, she is gay, and I mean, that doesn't mean you have a certain style, but like, yeah. I mean, She's stylish. Okay, that's what I'm getting at. <laughs> oh god, why did I not make a script for this video? Anyways, 
Maeve's style kind of should also bring her personality across a little bit. She's kind of a little bit mean, a little bit bossy, but mainly she's protective over her girlfriend, Vinny. And, um, well, she's also mean. I mean, look at the little comments I made her say. <laughs> well, I think mean is a bit said too much. She's definitely very direct and Loki kind of rude. But it's just her way that doesn't mean she dislikes you. She dislikes a lot of people, though. Like, yeah. I mean, I guess if you want me to, I could make like a video with a diagram of group dynamics. Like, I plan on making the diagram anyways, but like, if, if you want to see the diagram and have some commentary over it and like some explanation of it, I I'm I gladly show it, I suppose. Um generally with other world building things for this world too. Like I planned on making kind of a quote unquote episode where I try to um use Minecraft for backgrounds because I'm too lazy to learn a 3D program. <laughs> but I also wanna have like references. Or also try using the Sims, like basically using both of them and then comparing them, but I'm definitely less proficient at the Sims building thingy than in Minecraft, even though I haven't played Minecraft in, like, three years, like, properly played Minecraft. So I, I have no clue what the new updates did, to be honest. I'm so confused. <laughs> so it would definitely also be a learning curve. But I also kind of want to try 3D modeling, so yeah, I'm kind of very... I don't know what to do. <laughs> I want to do many, too many things. And with that being said, we're already kind of at the end of the video, already. Well, anyways, I hope you really enjoyed watching this. And I'll have more characters to make outfits about. And if you like art videos like these, or sketchbook tours, or like anything art related, um, maybe consider subscribing, because I post a lot of that stuff. And with that, I hope you have a wonderful time, and hopefully see you in two, you in two weeks. Bye!